Well, the National World War I Memorial and Museum saluting all men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. KBC 9's Matt Evans shows us what's being done this weekend in their honor. The traveling Vietnam Wall bringing all of the nearly 60,000 names of those who died in the Vietnam War to the Liberty Memorial. Oh, here he is. Pete Owens. Veterans here in Kansas City finding the names of those they served alongside. He was in my platoon and we were making a jump out of helico uh, some helicopters and he was in the first helicopter and I was in the third helicopter and he was hit by a mortar round. Killed. This wall, a replica 80% the size of the Vietnam Wall in Washington, D.C. For many folks, it's very emotional, really deeply emotional. I was sitting right there on this side with my feet on the skids. That ride for Vietnam veteran Phil Greco is one he'll never forget in this Huey. I was on this ship one time when it was shot down uh, around Tainan Province in 1968. QE 970 completed almost 3,500 combat mission hours in the Vietnam War and was shot down four times. The blade stopped dead in the air and the ship just sh kind of shuddered and all of a sudden the body of the chopper started spinning around and it threw all us ground troops out. Greco was able to walk away from the crash but the co-pilot and the side gunner were killed. Their names now on this wall after paying the ultimate sacrifice in Kansas City. Matt Evans, KNBC 9 News. And there will be a special ceremony at the Liberty Memorial starting tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. The National World War I Museum will be offering free admission tomorrow as well. If you'd like to help out our veterans, you can donate to the Heartland Honor Flight. The flights allow local veterans to see their monuments and memorials in Washington, D.C. To donate, you can head to KNBC.com and look for the story in the large box near the top of the home page.